Hi everyone, welcome back to Abra Knowledge Channel. Today's topic is on how to evaluate the potential projects. And this is very interesting and very useful topic. Those who seek to improve the process, wanted to do a continual improvement projects, wanted to do lean six sigma projects. I think this methodology will be very handy for you. So let's talk about, there are three methodology we are gonna to explore today. The one is called Pareto. The Pareto, you might have heard this one. Now the speciality is Pareto Priority Index that is called PPI, very wonderful model. And there is a, beneath there is a, also formula has been given, saving into probability of success, divided because and time to complete, or time to completion, right? The second one is cause and effect. Fishbone diagram, we have, you might have seen it. Now the same thing, low impact and how, how it is a result and all that. That is, we are going to explore that as well. And the last but not the least, CTQ in input process output model. So the first one alone, PPI, is coming from the book called Juron, Quality Planning and Analysis for Enterprise Quality, fifth edition. Let's see the first method. The first method is uh, the, this project, uh, you know, whenever you wanted to do a project, so there are four factors you need to see. In the numerator, you need to put saving into probability of success and what is your confidence level divided by cost and time to completion. Project nomination are usually reviewed by middle management and the recommendation are then made to upper management for final endorsement or approval. The review varies from an analysis of the project scope and potential benefit. You see in scope, you see a benefit to a formal examination of several factors to help set priority. For example, for example, insurance company screens potential project by asking six question. Can we, can we impact? Can we analyze? Number three, are data available? Number four, are they measurable? Number five, are a, uh, what areas are uh, affected? Number six, the last one is, what is the level of control? These are the six questions which you know the, we need to go through and asking this one and then get this one. Then Hartman 19, in 1983 described an approach called Pareto Priority Index. So this is the formula. For example, in this uh, one, let me just zoom a bit. So in this one, you can see that actually like the, there are A to E projects and saving and the probability and then cost and time and PPA. So the higher the PPI, higher the number. For example, if you, when you multiply all together, for example, in this case 60, so project C, you might likely to take it. But, you know, depending upon the business need and model and all that, you might also change the approach also as well. But however, not to ignore, not to brush away this topic. Just keep in mind when you wanted to explore that one of the method, you can use PPA also as well. Next method is called cause and effect. For example, let's say you, you put low uh, control and the low impact is there. We're not gonna entertain that one. And high control, you put a lot of efforts and all that, but it's still low impact, no. High control required and high, high impact, no. I think the wisest one to select is low control and high impact. You put less effort, but the impact is great. So that is also another methodology to go through it. That is the second one. The third one is the formal one, which is usually it has been used. So identification of CTQs. The CTQs can be come from VOC, VOB, and COPQ. VOC, voice of customer, VOB, voice of business, and COPQ is cost of poor quality. So anything when you VOC come from the customer wise on the basis of customer wise, VOB on the basis of business problem, with usually top management sh uh, shares what to be done, how to be improvised and all, all, all that. And the COPQ on the basis of cost of poor quality, that is defects and all that. So all you need to do is you need to jot down all the problem on the CTQ and then start describing. This is called first in input, you're gonna identify it. And then process, we, you, you take all this combination and perhaps all the three or two or one of the, any one of the one 
and then you just jot down and then you describe it. This is also another method. So I hope you like this video. Please do like, share, subscribe to the channel. You have a wonderful day ahead.